This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University. And today I wanted to talk about Bitcoin and unstoppable free speech. We're going to be talking about Nostra today, which I briefly mentioned in yesterday's video when we were talking about what happens if big tech decides to ban Bitcoin wallets. I'll link to that video in the description notes below if you're interested in watching it. But here's the background. Why should you be interested in Nostra? Well, if you're interested in Bitcoin, as unstoppable money, Nostr offers something similar. It offers unstoppable free speech. And this is the background to this. In the modern age, social media really has become the de facto public square. No one or the majority of people don't stand in the physical public square anymore to debate their political positions, except perhaps the Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park in London to entertain some tourists. We often have protests, etc. But the real debate really takes place online in cyberspace now and mostly on social media. And the problem with this is social media companies like Meta and Twitter, etc., have a history of banning people, often at the behest of governments, as we learn later people who express political opinions that are not accepted by the current regime or by some of the non-thinking NPCs who work in big tech. Bitcoin fixes many things, but we do still need a decentralized and censorship-resistant communications network if we would like to take civilization to the next level. Otherwise, we're going to end up just silencing all the modern Galileos of the world. It can feel great to put people under house arrest or deplatform them when they disagree with your opinions, but this doesn't exactly move the civilization forward. What we need is debate and we need open free speech. And this is really where Noster enters. Noster stands for notes and other stuff transmitted by Relay. I'll link to Noster.com here, but it's important to realize that Noster is not a company it's a protocol and it can be used for many things. It's currently being used for creating sort of a decentralized Twitter. It's an open protocol that enables truly censor censorship resistant and global social networks. It's an open source protocol, just like Bitcoin is. It's most interesting current use case, as I said, is as a decentralized and censorship resistant communications network, a decentralized Twitter, decentralized X. If you find this video helpful so far, I just ask you to please help support the channel. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with a friend as well. And please really do it if you, especially if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. It really helps out a lot with the algorithm. So the thing is with Nostr, there's no centralized authority that can ban you, unlike places like Twitter X. You yourself control what you post and if you ever need to leave, you can take your post history, your followers, and everything with you. Nostra operates a little bit like Bitcoin with public private key cryptography. Your public key is called your NPUB. If you want to see my NPUB, I'll link here to primal.net, which is a Nostra client, and you can see my NPUB right here. It's this long straight string of numbers and letters. You can think of your NPUB as your username or your public identity, and you can safely share your NPUB with anyone you want, just as I just did a screenshot of it. What you should not share, though, with anyone is your private key, just like with Bitcoin. Anyone who has your Nostra private key can post messages and basically pretend to be you on Nostra. And if your private key ever gets leaked, basically you should abandon that uh, public private key and start over, unfortunately. In addition to this public private key cryptography set up in Nostra, we also have what are called clients. Clients are just software that allows you to interact with the Nostra network. And there are many examples of clients. I've been recently using Domus, which is the seems to be the main one that's used for people on uh, iPhones and iPads, etc. You get the pun on the name Nostr Damas. That's why it's called that. There are lots of other clients as well. Uh, a few that I was able to find are Plebster. I'll link to all these in the description notes below. Primal, Primal.net, which we talked about earlier. Uh, Snort is another one. Snort Social, Iris. To. They're just many, many different clients, and these are all free. You can download them as apps or use them through web browsers, depending on your operating system and depending on the client. You can view the Nostra network using any client like Domus that you want. And if one client, if Domus, for example, gets shut down by the authorities, 10 more will pop up to replace it. This is a really good news. Your Nostra profile, your followers, your posts, your replies, etc., are all stored by Nostr relays. 
anyone can run one of these relays. And the nice thing about it is you can view the same information on Noster from any client. It might look slightly different, slightly different uh, formatting, but it'll still be the same information on Damas and on Plebster and on Primal, etc. Anyone can host a relay to help support the network, just like anyone can run a node on the Bitcoin network. But the good news with Noster, especially when you're first getting started, is you don't need to run a relay to use Noster. You just need a client like Domus or one of these other clients. If one relay decides to censor you, other relays will still pass on your information. And the people who run Noster relays at this point are probably all pretty free speech maximalists. So we don't really have to worry about censorship ever because there will always be relays uh, that are willing to move information around. I'm going to link to this uh, article uh, about relays on Noster and exactly how they work. Relays are like the backend servers for Noster. They allow Noster clients to send the messages and they may or may not store those messages and broadcast those messages to all other connected clients. If you're on iOS, I'd suggest checking out Domus, as I said, available on, uh, on iPhones, on iPads, and also on the new Macs that use the Apple M1 or M2 chips. If you're on Android, though, I'd like to ask you, what is your favorite Nostra client? If you're already using Nostra, please put that in the comments section below. I don't have an Android phone, so I'm not really sure what people are using these days or what their favorite Nostra client is. Final note, can you guess the native currency that runs on Nostra? Is it ETH? Is it Cardano or maybe XRP or HEX? Surprisingly not. Instead, it's something called Bitcoin. You may have heard of it, and you can use Noster to send zaps to people. Zaps are simply like tips. They're like sending uh, small payments, and they're transmitted over the Lightning Network. This is something that's really cool about Noster is it integrates Bitcoin as the native currency. If any of you have set up zaps on Noster, please let me know. I'm currently using Domus, but I have not yet set up, uh, connected a Lightning wallet. So I'm not sure. I know there's all this controversy about whether you could zap or not, and Apple wanted a percentage of the zaps. So originally Domus had to remove the zap feature, but maybe it's working again. I'll link to these two articles below about the battle between the Apple App Store and Zap. But if you're using, uh, if you're zapping and using this feature on Noster, please let me know. A lot of people seem to be using Wallet of Satoshi with Noster, which is okay. Wallet of Satoshi is a custodial wallet. If you leave your money there, you're trusting whoever runs it. And at some point you can expect a rogue authority to be running this and uh, everyone to get their money stolen. Of course, if you just have like five or $10 on, uh, on the Wallet of Satoshi, it's probably not a big deal, but you definitely don't want to store large amounts. Much better to use something like Mutiny and uh, once I get it set up, I'll make a video about that, how to connect the Mutiny wallet, which you can run in your browser or run on your phone through uh, as a progressive web app, how to connect that to Noster as well. So we have Bitcoin as unstoppable money. We now have Noster as unstoppable speech. And Noster seems to be gaining a lot of ground, especially gaining a lot of popularity among Bitcoiners. So I'm very hopeful that this will grow to become the decentralized social communications network in the world. When you combine unstoppable money with unstoppable speech, you end up with Bitcoiners on Noster, which are basically unstoppable people. And if that sad day ever comes, and a lot of us Bitcoiners get deplatformed from various platforms, do please look for me on Noster and also at my website, which I'll link to in the description notes below. So go give Noster a try. Try it out on your phone. Try it out on your desktop. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.